long do you want to stay here? They may not come at all. They'll come in the end. We cannot return without them. We've been waiting here all night. And what if we stay, but they never come? Our hungry families are waiting. If we don't return, they'll starve. Excuse me. The Ten Brothers we came with. Where are they? We don't know whether to leave or wait for them. I believe they are guests of the Governor. However, I don't know when they will return. We don't know what to do. You should go. Don't wait for them. They will come later. The children of Israel came here for a feast instead of wheat. We cannot wait. So let's go. Our people and families are hungry. They are relying on us to return and give them wheat. We would be grateful to the governor of Egypt if he would allow us to leave. You have kept us here for three days and still have not told us why. We haven't come to Egypt to feast and sleep. We traveled here with others from Canaan. If they have not already left, they will be waiting for us at the gate. Why were they left there? My apologies. Wait a moment. Do you think they will recognize me? It depends on how smart they are. Although, I don't think they will. We know they want Excellency Yusar Sif and also to know why they are being kept here. Prepare the reception hall. And put my throne in there. Canaanites stand in awe of power and they value glory and magnificence. Take them to the hall and I will come. Yes, Excellency. If they recognize me, my plan will not work. You were the same age as your children when last time they saw you. I am sure they will not remember you. Come here. I truly hope they do not recognize me. This way. When the governor enters, you must bow in respect. Do not raise your heads until he allows it. And do not speak until spoken to. If he asks a question, answer briefly. And when he dismisses you, you must bow again. And leave the hall whilst facing him. Enters Excellency Yuzarsif, the wise governor of Egypt.
introduce yourselves. What are your names? We are the sons of Prophet Jacob, of Isaac, and the great-grandchildren of the Prophet Abraham. My name is Levi. My name is Judah. My name is Issachar. My name is Asher. My name is Simeon. I'm Cat. I am Reuben. My name is Naphtali. My name is Dan. Zebulun. What are your jobs? And why are you in Egypt? We raise sheep and cattle. And we're also farmers. In our city of Canaan, there's famine. We came to Egypt to buy wheat. Each of us is responsible for a family. We would appreciate very much the governor's assistance. You are how many brothers? We are eleven. The youngest, Benjamin, stayed with our father. Benjamin? Why did he not come? I mean, if you had brought him and your father as well, you'd have received two more measures of wheat. It was not possible. No. We were not able to bring them. Our father is blind, so is unable to travel. And he loves Benjamin very much. He will not be separated from him. Why does your father love Benjamin so much? Are you all from the same father? We are from the same father, but different mothers. Benjamin had a brother whose name was Joseph, but he was killed by wolves. Since then, our father has loved Benjamin in place of Joseph. So... Your father loved Joseph very much. His blindness was caused by his crying so much over the loss of Joseph. Have we upset the governor of Egypt? No, I don't think so. He is feeling unwell. He will return in a moment. Did you hear that? My father's crying for me has caused his blindness. God knows what he has been through in the past 30 years. Be calm, prophet of God. Your guests are awaiting you. Don't make them suspicious. I wish my father was here. I would kiss his eyes and wash his feet with my tears. Can I make up for this suffering caused for my separation? God willing, when he comes to Egypt, we will soothe his suffering. in my chest that sometimes hurts very much. Have we upset the governor? Perhaps with something we've said? 
No, it is something that has just occurred to me. I am trying, but I am afraid. I just can't trust you. Undoubtedly, you are hiding something from me. We assure the Governor that everything we've said is the truth. Did you love your brother who was killed by wolves? Your Excellency. He was our brother. However, when you spoke of your brother being killed by wolves, I noticed no sorrow in your tone. Having a brother killed by wolves is a sad incident, isn't it? I believe you are not telling the truth. I think that you have other intentions. Your Excellency, we have told you the truth. We don't know why you would suspect us. What if you are simply trying to conceal your true intention from me? For example, what if you have come to Egypt to disrupt the peace? What if you are spies hired by another king? No, Your Excellency. These accusations are not appropriate for the sons of prophets. The progeny of prophets do not deserve such slander, Excellency. Then you are unaware of the wrongs done by prophets' sons. For example, Cain, the son of Adam. How can I discover whether you are telling the truth? Can you prove it? We are telling the truth, Excellency. We swear to him. Instead of swearing, next time bring your younger brother with you on the journey. When I see him, I will know you are telling me the truth. As you can see, I serve the people well, and I give wheat to those who are needy. If you bring your younger brother, he will also receive some wheat. And if you do not, None of you shall get any more. Give them wheat as per regulation, like anyone. Charge them the same price. Do not forget the condition of your next journey here. Be sure that you return the money that you take from my brothers and pack it back in their luggage. I will pay for their wheat myself. Yes, Your Excellency. May I ask, why the Prophet of God did not introduce himself to his brothers? They must not know until the appropriate time comes. You take their money and then return it to them. Why don't you give them free weight in the first place? When they discover their coins back in their luggage, they will return, both to learn the reason for the generosity and to get free wheat again. You miss your father so much. Why not tell them to bring your father instead? Father? No. He will instantly recognize me, and then discover what my brothers did. Why should he not know? You should let their lie be revealed. What's wrong with that? Because then my father will curse my brothers. The curse of the prophet of God will destroy my brothers. Especially when they still have not repented. And in the end... 
Prophet Jacob still suffers from your separation. No. My brothers must repent first. When God forgives them, my father's wrath will be less. How are you going to force them to repent? Soon you will know. That is why I summoned Benjamin here. I just hope that my plan works. I don't understand. I don't know why, but I feel like I've seen the governor somewhere before. Does he not look familiar? Yes, he did. I know what it is. We must have met him herding sheep on the plains before. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, Levi. I also felt that I knew him. Let us go and get your wheat. That is our gift. Use the flour on your way back to Canaan. You do know how to make dough and bread. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your hospitality. Safe journey. Father will most certainly not let us bring Benjamin to Egypt. Because of his memory of Joseph, he will never allow it. Is he not justified? Did we not wrong our brother? We never repented. If we had, father would have allowed it now. We have no choice. We must bring Benjamin on our next journey to Egypt. Or we will not get any wheat. Joseph talked to you in his room, or wherever he was. Recently, wherever I am, I feel I am in your presence. Until a few days ago, I felt lonely, but now I feel someone is beside me. 
even when I am completely alone. I don't know who or what you are. I still can't say I believe in you. But I feel you are beside me, watching me always. I fear I will become alone again. Oh God of Joseph, I implore you not to leave me. I am afraid of loneliness and being forlorn. She has learned completely how to manage her blindness. You know, I think you are talking to Joseph right now. No. Joseph is talking to you. And you look at him. He is now with you. When you are by my side, I feel Joseph is by my side too. We are both with you. I thank you. For visiting me. And brightening my dark nights. I have slept without fear for several nights now. I feel you are always awake. Jacob's family are waiting. Turned by today. What if something bad happened? Can you not speak with a little bit of hope? Don't cry, son. Your father will be back soon. Why are 
they late? The others returned yesterday. Why didn't you wait and return together? We didn't know how long we would have to wait. What if we waited longer and they still didn't come? Mighty Lord, help our family in the same way that you help the other people from Canaan. The others will be in Canaan by now. They are three days ahead of us. Our families will fear something has happened to us. Especially when we went to the governor's palace and never came back. They may think the governor did something to us. Don't worry. We should hurry and we'll arrive sooner. Hooray! Hooray! smell of bread. I remember the bread mother baked. Naftali, bring some dough. What are they doing? Bring whatever's ready. What would we have done if they hadn't given us flour? We'd have had no bread. We don't have a mill to grind the wheat, so we just have to chew on the raw wheat. God bless them. They helped us greatly. They didn't help. If they hadn't kept us, we'd have arrived by now. You are really so ungrateful, Judah. You never acknowledge people's kindness. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Naptali? We're starving. Hurry! Commander Rodamon. Commander Rodamon, I am very happy to see you. Barnavoria, my good man. What are you doing here? Commander, they gave me your old post. We have been away for a long time. Tell me, what's news? All the news in Thebes is about one man, Yuzarsif. 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 His name is mentioned everywhere. Not just in Thebes, but all over Egypt. You and I knew his name before everybody. I taught him how to fight. And he taught me how to worship God. Where is he? If not for him, I would have gone to prison instead of Nineveh Kepta. He is looking after the affairs of Thebes, as well as Amon Temple. What about Lady Zuleika? I haven't seen her for years. Lady Zuleika has become old and blind. She is there. I mean, she's usually there. I wonder where she is. You there, where is the old blind woman who sits here every day? Oh, blind Zuleika. <laughs> oh, we don't know. We haven't seen her. Don't worry. I'll find her. You return to your post.
again. What are you doing here? Lady Zuleika has nothing left to give you. That's a shame. We have important news from Yuzar Sif. Yes, that's right. Dama? Tiamini? What's the matter? Who are they? It's just those two lying scavengers again, my lady. We have important news, Zuleika. Idiot! To you, it's Lady Zuleika. Sorry. Lady Zuleika. I have nothing left to give you. Pity. Someone's looking for you on User C's order. Come here. At your disposal, my lady. You are lying as always. Trying to deceive me again. No, my lady. We will bring him to you. And then, you reward us. All right? You've been rewarded. I rewarded you for your false news of you, Sir Thief. You're not to be believed. Besides, I have nothing left. Oh well, never mind. The one looking for you was a high-ranking Egyptian officer, wasn't he? That's right. Well, we'll go now. Come on. Wait. Stay here for a minute. We will bring him here, as soon as we are rewarded. Don't worry. First the messenger. You bring him to me, and then you will be rewarded. No, no. If you want the messenger, then you reward us first. Look at this. It is precious. Bring the man here, and you will get this. Grab it, quick! Stop! Stop them! They're thieves! Stop them! They're thieves! Why are you trying to run away? I wasn't, Your Excellency. I was running to get you and bring you here. Me? Yes. Why are you looking for me? Because aren't you from the palace? Why do you ask? I told the lady that someone from the palace was looking for her. But she didn't believe me. You are from the palace? What do you mean, am I from the palace? Are you looking for me? Yes, I was looking for you.
Then it's all right. You can let him go then. But the statue of Amar. It's all right. It was me who gave it to him. But it's Amon. Don't you worship Amon? No. I worship Joseph's God now. When they told me that Joseph had sent you to come for me, I gave them the statue of Amon. I will punish those two later. They were lying. I was looking for you, but Yuzarsif didn't send me. <gasps> My lady! Lady! I don't know why my knees gave way. You turned instantly pale. Have you never been very disappointed? You have heard so many lies and been deceived so much. Will you never learn your lesson? I thought you Sarsif had sent. For me. You are wrinkled and blind, my lady. For what do you want, Yuzarsif? Who are you, stranger? And why do you call me my lady? Do you know me? Or are you simply ridiculing a pathetic old lady? You're Radamon? I thought that you appeared familiar in some way. Where have you been, Radamon? I went to the pier many times. I passed Stone Ram Street many times. I asked your friends of your whereabouts, but I couldn't find you. For ten years, I have been at war in other countries. I never imagined you would look like this. Separation from Joseph has done this. I hoped that you were from his palace. You have no eyes. How will you see, Yuzarsif? Seeing Joseph doesn't require eyes. Smelling his scent will be more than enough. If I see him one day, I'll ask him to keep me in a corner of his palace. So I'll always be beside him. And I will smell his scent every day. I've tried to tell her that's wishful thinking. How do you know that? I will go and look for you, Zarsif. I will find him. And I will return the moment I have news of him. Please don't disappoint me, Rodamon. Don't worry. Help me, Rodamon. You're my only hope. My lady, don't worry. I'll be back. Excellency, use our seat, please. No, not at the moment. Let's go.
because I can't bear staying here. If I arrive late for our meeting, I will feel that I am ignoring my Joseph. A lover must go after the beloved. What if Radamon returns with news of you, safe? How will he tell you? I waited for him, but he didn't come, so I don't think he has any news. Let's go with her. Commander Rodamon. Do you know where Yuzarsif is? Yes, Commander. All those people are going to hear Excellency Yuzarsif's address. He will talk to the people today. He will be worshipping the one god today first time in the old temple of Amon. Marifar's palace. To the governor of Egypt. Greetings to the savior of Egypt. Greetings to the provider of Egypt, the wise dream interpreter of Egypt, and the holder of the golden position. Excellency, use our seat. God's greetings to the brave guards of Egypt. degraded the wealthy and the mighty because of their rebellion. Praise be to the one God. That old woman looks familiar. Have you seen her somewhere? Perhaps. Did you hear what she said? About a slave becoming a governor? I mean, about the wealthy being rebellious. She must be one of them, but she speaks like a believer. Malik, go and see what she wants.
Excellency Yuzarsif told me to provide anything you need. What is it that you want? I only have one request. I only want to talk to Excellency Yuzarsif. That is all I want. She wants to talk to Excellency Yuzarsif. I smell Joseph's scent. Is Joseph here? Joseph sent me. Perhaps I may deliver your message. You smell of my Joseph. How are you related to my Joseph? I am the governor's wife, Asanath. What do you want? Huh? What did she say? I don't think I heard her properly. My name is Asanath. I am the governor's wife. The wife of Excellency Yuzarsif. My lady? Oh, what is it? My lady! What happened? Now she's finally found out. Maybe... Maybe we should have told her Yuzasif got married. Why didn't you tell her it's Lady Zuleika and she's in love with Yuzarsif? We can't say that in front of Yuzarsif's wife. She wanted to talk to you. But then she fainted when I said I was your wife. My lady. Lady Zuleika. My lady. My lady? It is a lake of wake up. My lady. I don't know where I've seen her. But I think she may be the shrouded old lady from my dreams who asked me for help. The old woman you were looking for. I'm not sure. Perhaps. Take her to the palace. Look after her until I return. Malik, let's go. No! 